Hello, oh, I'm gonna take your order. Hi, do you guys have the strawberry frosties? Yeah, we do. Could I do a small strawberry frosty and then a small fry? All right, would that be offered today? Yeah, that's it. All right, second window. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to Sean's first time. <coughs> Welcome back to Sean's first time eating. Today, I saw Wendy's launched a strawberry frosty. I've only in my life ever had vanilla and chocolate. I'm more of a chocolate guy when it comes to the frosty game. Today, strawberry and Dunkin' fries in the frosty. Basic. Maybe. Yeah, basic. Classic? Yes. Classic. <laughs> Loud? Extremely. <laughs> and just die already. Thank you. What is this person doing? You're just, you can't just sit in the middle of a driveway. You have to go into it. Like there's other people in the world. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh there's other people? I didn't realize I had to care about others. Why did I say that like a cartoon bear? Look at the bears. Sheesh. It is a sunny, beautiful day in Chicago, and a lot of people will donate on this show anonymously and just say, do whatever you want to do, love the show, man. So today, I'm gonna dunk fries in the new Frosty, and I'm gonna answer some questions. About six months ago, I did like a three-day Q&A, AMA, Ask Me Anything, where people could enter to win a prize, like knives or an air fryer, stuff like that. By just asking a question, you were automatically entered to win. And there were so many of them I couldn't get to, so I screen grabbed a bunch of those that I've wanted to answer and I put this off. And now I'm gonna start doing AMAs, because I went back and read those comments and people were all about it. I didn't realize like how popular that was. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a weekly AMA. So whenever you want, ask questions in the comments on any video. I will put those questions in the log and they will be asked uh, randomly as they pop up in the folder that I saved the questions. I like this little small one. I never need, there's also a junior size I almost got, like for literally children, like for basically toddlers. But I don't need a lot of, I don't need a lot of Frosty. This is just, let's crank this down so you can see the color. It's very pink, it's very aesthetically pleasing. I'm not normally a big straw, like fake strawberry guy. I'm actually not a huge strawberry guy in general, to be complete. like nothing against them really, I just, I don't know. I don't love, Strawberries. <laughs> Try some more. The strawberries taste like strawberries. Gonna dunk a bunch of these in. You know, not really much to show. I guess I should try the frosty as is, huh? I've already dunked a bunch of fries in it. Okay, let me just try it as is. Frosties are, so, I mean, it's just so good. Honestly, like the salt is just gonna. Mm hmm. Fries even in strawberry ice cream work. I get Frosties once every three months, maybe. It's so nice when you haven't had it in a while. All right, here's the AMA, the Ask Me Anything. Little Q&A, drop questions, I'll collect them. We'll do it in the future. I know you're not big on sweets, but what was your childhood junk food go-to? Bowl of sugary cereal, Pop-Tarts, etc. Cinnamon Toast Crunch was obsessed. Fudge Stripe Cookies. The Keebler Elf, like Chips Ahoy cookies with the M&Ms in them. Baskin Robbins Gold Medal Ribbon Ice Cream. Those were like the ones that are jumping out to me as like ones I consistently have. I also really liked Entenmann's like raspberry coffee cake. I was obsessed with coffee cake as a kid. I thought it was like, I mean, I liked that more than savory food when I was younger. Like the Entenmann's end cap at the grocery store. I used to just sit there and be like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's weird to admit. Aside from hot or sixer sauce, what is your favorite hot sauce to put on pizza or bagel bites? Chef Art and Mike's Vesuvius sauce. It's the best sauce for anything like Italian, like pastas, spaghettis, pizzas. That is what, that's the goat Italian sauce. What was your favorite N64 game? Mine was Goldeneye. Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64 is my favorite video game of all time. I would, I'd put my car, I'd put my fiance. No, no, let's go even higher than that. I would put my dog on the line in a game, smack you up. I play with Yoshi, you're not gonna beat me. In a couple of four races, you're not touching me. Hey Sean, what was your major in college? Journalism. I went to Michigan State University, got a journalism degree, worked in newspapers, went to the marketing world, started doing video marketing, started performing, doing comedy, in front of the camera, behind the camera, and now I've melded it all into one really weird career. <laughs> what is the one thing you never ate as a kid that you can't live without now? Avocados. I didn't know what an avocado was, until I was much, much older. Like, like in college. 
like my parents didn't buy them. I probably looked at them in the grocery store and was like, what is that? The only Mexican food I ate was like, we would put like black olives in our tacos at home. Now, like when the avocados are like a dollar, maybe two per dollar, like the mini ones, I put them on toast, I put them on breakfast sandwiches, I put them on quesadillas, I put them on wraps, I put them on tacos, put them on salads. I'm a diehard avocado fan. Hey Sean, what's the most expensive steak you've ever ordered from a restaurant? Mine was $66 for a 16 ounce New York strip. I had a $250 tomahawk steak at RPM Steak and it was insane. It was kind of recently. I also had a tomahawk steak out at Chicago Culinary Kitchen and that thing was unbelievable. So yeah, $250. I always split it with other people so it wasn't like me fronting that bill. I've been very fortunate to have like discounts on stuff and whatever. So it's a lot of money. I also really like Fogo de Chao. Like Fogo de Chao, Brazilian steakhouses are great. And like those are only like 60, 70 bucks a person for all you can eat and you get to get a lot of different things. So I like as a chain, I kind of dig that. What was the most surprising thing you added hot sauce to in your life that completely changed the whole meal? Uh, pastas and like macaroni and cheese. Whenever I make any noodles, I add a lot of hot sauce. I Ever since I started doing that, like I had real like ghost pepper spicy hot sauce to my pasta bowls. You like eat slower and you get full faster, so I'm not just gonna slam like three bowls of pasta. Like hot sauce really lets you pace your meals because you're sitting there going, Phew. So <laughs> add it to like spaghetti and meatballs or chicken parm. It's so great. Hot sauce is not a thing in Italy. Like, when I lived over there, there was never anybody asking me if they wanted to go grab the Cholula. If you had to choose, start, bench, and cut these three foods. Pizza, chicken, pasta. What would you start, bench, and cut? Okay, that's kind of like a more appropriate f Mary kill. <laughs> I f the pasta! No. Jesus. Um, this is actually kind of easy for me, and this might be surprising. This is going to be very surprising to people. I would start chicken. Chicken is my favorite one of my favorite foods, like the way you can prepare it in so many different ways. It's healthier if you want to make it healthier. It's really unhealthy and really delicious if you want it to be that way. I love chicken thighs. It's like probably my favorite meat there is on, on earth, which I know is probably surprising. I would bench pasta and I would cut pizza. Now I know that's insane. Some of you are like, I don't even know you anymore, dude. Like. I, this is actually kind of a hot take. I'm not that geeked on pizza, like compared to other foods. I'd rather have chicken sandwiches, burgers, barbecue, sushi. Love pizza, but I'm not sticking up for it in a group with other stuff. How about some calzones? Calzones are like pizzas, but they're harder to eat. They're dumb. And so was that idea. Seriously? I, if I never had pizza again, honestly, I don't ever really crave it. Like when it's around, or I, I get to do like food reviews of it, it's fun and I dig it, but I'm never really like the first one to suggest pizza as like a meal for a bunch of people hanging out. I'm Shawnee fucking sandwiches. This is embarrassing for you. That might seem like a funny joke, but like really, I always just want a sandwich. I almost got a chicken sandwich to dunk in this Frosty, but I thought that would be Serial killer status. Comment your guys' below. That's a good one we can all jam on together. After eating for your channel, do you fast or still eat throughout the day? Um, I, I fast pretty, pretty epically. If I film like a bunch of videos in a day, or with the vlog, I try to film like one a day, sometimes more than one, but that way I can like, it can be my fun meal for the day. So like this morning, I woke up, Cheers. I had a smoothie that Allie made with water, green grapes, pineapple, banana, two scoops of protein powder, plant-based protein powder, um, the rest of the spinach that was in our fridge, so maybe a little over two cups, and then a bunch of ice. Can you flex for us? And then this is just fries and frosty, this is kind of easier, and then I'll probably have like a lighter dinner with Allie. So like, this will be, I try to keep it under 2,500 calories a day, and I work out five days a week. It's getting a little soupy. And I have the AC on in here. Wendy's fries, when they're hot, are very good. They used to have the, just the worst fries. What were your Firehouse Subs videos for and where can I find them? So I was the video, social media video guy for Firehouse Subs like for a number of years, years ago. So I would shoot, I would edit, I'd talk about their public safety foundation, I'd talk about new menu items. I would just like make social media videos. So you can find them in like the old catalog on Facebook. Some of the ones on YouTube, if you scroll back far enough. One of the coolest gigs. I lived in Jacksonville, Florida and that's where they're headquartered. So I got to like meet the owners and I got to hang out the whole marketing department. Shout out Melissa, shout out Jimmy for awesome opportunities 
with that brand for so many years. Firehouse subs, founded by fire. Now go impress your friends. What's the biggest guilty food you'll never give up? Honestly, probably fried chicken sandwiches. I think fried chicken sandwich is probably my favorite type of sandwich. Even if I had health concerns, I'd probably still slip in a fried chicken sandwich, thighs over breasts when I can. That would probably be the one that I would be the most devastated if I couldn't eat. Hey Sean, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Pepsi sucks. I'm one of those people that literally at the table, if the waiter or waitress goes, oh sorry, we have Pepsi, I change what I get. Like, I don't, they go, Pepsi okay? I go, actually, no, I'll get a Sierra Mist. Like, with the Pepsi lineup of, of, of products, they're soft drinks, I change what I get. I'll get a lemonade. Seriously. Also, why am I ordering liquid that's not alcoholic? What happened? <laughs> this guy's got issues. Do you have a dream location outside of Illinois or the US you would love to go and do a ton of food reviews? I'm, I'm sure I've answered this question in the past, but it's fun re-answering it because it changes all the time. Right now, it's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican food is my new favorite cuisine in the past like year. I'm obsessed with it. I wanna go to Puerto Rico and I wanna like be there for like three weeks and just make food videos. Should I start a Kickstarter? All right, last one. Hey Sean, if you had to choose one spot that would be your top pick for best burger in Chicago, what would it be? Uh, the Loyalist, I tell people if they come to town and they want a fancy fun night out but still like American pub food, the Loyalist in the West Loop, get a reservation, or go on Tuesdays, there's a deal with a shot and a beer, it's like all 20 bucks, that's the day to go. If you're traveling during the weekend, get a reservation, go to Loyalist. If you want something like a little more casual and like not so reservation-y, Big Kids, Logan Square. They have like a Big Mac smash burger. I'm obsessed with it, go get that. All right, I wanna save some of those other questions for future videos so I don't burn them all. Like I said, comment any questions uh, here today on the video and I'll combine uh, your questions with the ones I have saved. What came in handy once again? Well, it's the fact that uh, I didn't break the golden rule. Don't forget to bring a towel. Yeah, I brought a towel. What? Ooh. The spoon's still very frosty. Frosty-y? This guy's making up adjectives. 463 for a small frosty and a small fry. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's a terrible prize. Am I wrong? Maybe that's good, I don't know. I'm still very hungry, but I don't want to eat a ton, you know? I'm Shawnee sandwiches, but I'm also Shawnee waistlines, you know? <laughs> Multiple waistlines. It was actually, 463 was worth it for the sheer amount of extra napkins they gave. My lord. No one needs this many napkins. That will come in handy. That'll come in handy, Andy. I have personality issues and physical issues. Guys, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching this little Ask Me Anything, this little Q&A here today at Wendy's, uh, in the Wendy's parking lot. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Uh, like I said, ask some questions. Follow me on Instagram. Come say hi. I respond to everybody. Hey, Sean Ely. Type it in. H-E-Y-S-E-A-N-E-L-Y. It's right here. Uh, come say hi. Let's be friends. Let's chill online. <laughs> the strawberry Frosty was good. If you like strawberry, get that. Wendy's Strawberry Frosty with fries up. Wendy's Strawberry Frosty with fries down. Be good to each other. <laughs> <laughs>